वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग टूटोरियल्स इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट मैकेनिकल ऑप्टिकल कंपेरेटर्स सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस थियरी यू शुड लर्न अबाउट सम ऑफ द ऑप्टिकल थियरी बिहाइंड दिस काइंड ऑफ मैकेनिकल ऑप्टिकल कंपेरेटर सो लेट अ स्टार्ट सो द ऑप्टिकल कंपेरेटर वर्क ऑन बेस ऑन टू द फंडामेंटल ऑप्टिकल लॉस एज द एज ऑफ द सैडो इज प्रोजेक्टेड ऑन अ कोड ग्रेजुएटेड स्किल्स टू इंडिकेट द कंपेरिजन मेजरमेंट सो जनरली दिस इज एक्सप्लेन विद द हेल्प ऑफ ऑप्टिकल लीवर सो कंसिडरिंग ओवर हियर so let us see here that will be the p point suppose from the light source that will be some of the rays it will be imparted onto the mirror m so this is imparting onto the mirror m and that will be reflected towards this so this one is called to be a reflected rays and that will be rays of light source so that will be making a angle theta and once again at the theta angle with the vertical so that will be having a plane you can see that that will be the n p and that will be the q so basically o to p that will be the rays of the lights and that will be reflected Rays that will be indicating as a P to Q. So what happened? Suppose that will be the certain movement of this mirror. So that will be our new position of the mirror. So second position. And that will be having a some of the angles like this. with the vertical it will be indicating as a alpha angle tilted by the mirror so what kind of reflection suppose this one is our light source so that will be imparted onto this surface and now that will be our new reflected rays so that will be called as a so this movements it will be about twice of that particular alpha so here that will be the tilted angle of the mirror m it will be alpha and then on to the indications it will be about 2 alpha so that will be the twice of that reflections you can notice on to the optical measurements so this is the fundamental principle of the optical systems so by this principle you can increasing the large magnifications of the any movements or any changes onto the measurements now for understanding about the basic construction and working of mechanical optical comparators so let us see the all the geometry of mechanical optical comparators so in which the plunger which is attached with the lever and that mirror with that mirror the light source is being striking on it and that will be also connected with the calibrated scale so in that case of the mechanical optical comparators the very much amount of change into that plunger displacement and that will be transferring its motions and that will be onto the calibrated scale so let us see how that will be working of that particular mechanical optical comparators so just you can see over here this is our work piece material so first reading that will be taken by the standards and that will be now reading taken by the work piece so according to the change of the dimension of the work piece so that plunger it will be displaced onto that vertical Directions. 
so what happens this plunger it will be supported by the slit diaphragms so that will be controlling the up and down movement by the changing of the shape and size of the workpiece so that plunger that will be connected with the lever so that will be considering as a lever and that lever it will be connected with the mirror so this green it will be indication as a mirror so by the changing of this movement of the plunger by changing of the workpiece dimensions so generally that all it will be related with the different kind of lens so this lever it will be supported into the pivot so one of the end of the lever to the point of the pivot that length it will be indicating as a l1 length and from that p1 to the another end it will be indication as a l2 length and this it will be the from the light source or you can say pivot of the mirror to the second end of the lever it will be called as a l3 so basically l3 and the most important part from pivot to the calibrator scale that will be the length 4 now due to dz movements of this mirror that will be changes of the indicator cations onto the optical one and due to that deflection about alpha here so that will be onto the twice alpha as we discussed into earlier by the optical principles so what happens the optical magnification that will be equal to twice into l4 upon l3 because l4 and l3 that will be related with the optical magnifications so this one is for mechanical and this one is for the optical so the total magnification of optical comparator that will be twice into l2 upon l1 into l4 upon l3 total magnification of mechanical optical comparator so according to the construction wise by the changing of the dimension of this workpiece material it will be deflected and due to that vertical deflections it will be indication as a dy and according to that dy l1 and l2 the dz deflection of the mirror so that mirror it will be at some alpha angle so that angle it will be called to be a tilted angle and according to that tilted angle alpha that will be reflected onto the calibrated scale by the twice of that particular alpha as we already discussing into optical magnifications so rest of the things here that will be the light source so providing the initial lights towards the mirror so this light source it will be imparting at the mirror so here that will be the condenser to controlling the heat during the generating of the light and said inner and through passing through the lenses it will be concentrated or you can say imparted onto the mirror so that rays it will be reflected from the mirror into the calibrated scale and your measure band is being carried out so basically that will be for the mechanical magnifications this much and optical so total magnification of mechanical optical comparators that will be twice into l2 by l1 and l3 by l4 now we will discussing some of the advantages and disadvantages of mechanical optical comparator so let us see starting with the first advantages of the mechanical optical comparators and that will be the less moving parts so that will be the less friction you can considering so that will be increasing the accuracy of measurement now second one the scale can be made to move 
past a datum line and thus have the high range and the reducing the parallax error. So you can considering as a no parallax errors into mechanical optical comparators. So that will be having a high magnification rate as we already discussed. Let us start with the disadvantage and starting with the light source is required. So Second one, expensive and third one, scale is projected onto the screen and dark room is being required. Then last one, instrument is inconvenient for continuous use. So no continuous using of this kind of instrument because that will be hazardous to the eye of an operators. So these all are regarding to the mechanical optical comparators. If you like this then subscribe and share. Modi mechanical engineering tutorials. Thank you very much.